Welcome to all of you here at Our Lady of Grace in Encino, California. My name is Father Marinello Sagan, and I am the parish administrator here at this parish, a community to know, to love, and to serve Jesus. We'd like to welcome you. Thank you for joining us this day as we participate at Holy Mass. Please be reminded to like, subscribe, and share all that you are viewing with family and friends via all of our the internet. And as usual, please keep us in mind in your giving through your love offering through Faith Direct. And that you are invited to participate by having a candle lit before Our Lady of Guadalupe or to turn in your prayer requests and Mass intentions that will be remembered here at the altar at every single Mass and in our private prayers as priests here at Our Lady of Grace. Thank you and enjoy our participation at Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, we want to welcome you to this Mass of Christmas Eve, the Vigil Mass. And so it is nice to be finally inside the church for a brief moment. For those of you who are at home, for those of you who are joining us from near and far, we welcome you here at Our Lady of Grace during this Christmas Mass. And so as we prepare to celebrate Christ's coming, as we allow Jesus to come into our hearts to become another Bethlehem, let us call to mind our sins. were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Father. 
offer to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. sacred night, radiant with the splendor of the true light, grant, we pray, that we who have known the mysteries of his light on earth may also delight in his gladness in heaven, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. 
you have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing as they rejoice before you as at the harvest, as people make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster you have smashed as on the day of Midian. For every boot that tramped in battle, every cloak rolled in blood will be burned as fuel for flames. For a child is born to us, a son is given us. Upon his shoulder, dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. From David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, saving all and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires and to live temperately, justly, and devoutly in this age as we await the blessed hope, the appearance and of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ who gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a people as his own, eager to do what is good. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good news of great joy 
Savior for us, Christ the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were shepherds in that region living in the fields and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all people. For today in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you who is Christ and Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly hosts with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. Welcome, Faith Family of Our Lady of Grace. For those of you who are joining us, on Facebook, YouTube, or any of our social media. We want to welcome you. And to those of you who are visitors who have just come through out those outlets, we also want to welcome you here at Our Lady of Grace in Encino, California. Today, we celebrate the most solemn of nights as we celebrate Christ becoming man in the incarnate word, in that simple stable, in that simple town of Bethlehem in which today the angels proclaim from the gospel, glory to God in the highest, glory to God in the highest. Today, that Gloria echoes and rings out, and especially for us, because we remain as those little children in awe, just like the children and our grandchildren who are in awe of waiting for the coming of Christmas, waiting to open their presents, that the greatest present to receive is Jesus in our hearts making a way for us in our Bethlehems, in our mangers. The image today that I'd like to share with you, what is the value and meaning of Christmas? Is if you look at all of our Christmas trees, we look at the lights, we look at the ornaments, we look at all of that, our eyes go immediately to the Christmas tree and to all the glitz and glamour of it. But what holds up a Christmas tree? Any idea? The Christmas stand. If you put, if you have no Christmas stand, the Christmas tree goes kaput. The Christmas tree is useless if it is not placed on a stand and secured and fastened and nailed. And sometimes when we buy our Christmas trees, we think, Where's the stand? Did we forget to buy a stand? Where did we put the stand from last year? Or sometimes you have to go back to the Christmas lot and we have to make them put one of those wooden stands on those trees. The stand is important because it holds everything up. 
The glitz and glamour mean nothing if it, does not, if it is not held up. Today, on this night, what is more important than all the lights, than all the decorations, than anything else, is where we place and stand our faith on. When everything has been taken away from us during this pandemic, when churches are physically closed at times, when we can't even gather with family and friends around a Christmas meal, we realize that our faith stands in that little child born in Bethlehem, laying in a manger in swaddling clothes, who will grow up to heal the brokenhearted, who will restore sight to the blind, who will make the lame and the cripple walk. But the extent of his life will not just be that, that that child will mount the wood of the cross, stretch out his arms and his feet, crowned with thorns, and the cross will stand, and he will give his whole life. And his resurrection will give us access to God. That is where we stand today. And I hope that's where you stand this whole year, in 2021, that we may be a people of faith, that we may proclaim that Jesus is here. There will be nothing that will, not, that will set us fearful or, uh, or give us a sense of hesitancy because we know that we stand with him. And so from my home to yours, we wish you a blessed and holy Christmas. Let's stand this Christmas on what it means to be a Christian, a one who believes Christ is making a way. And so I invite you all to please stand especially those of you who are at home, as we together pray the prayer of the church, the summary of faith that we call the creed. And at the words of the creed and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, we will pause and we will kneel, looking at the manger, looking at the Bethlehem scene, commemorating that night and that day when heaven and earth meets. Twice in the year we do this. We do it on Christmas, on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And we do it on the Feast and Solemnity of the Annunciation on March 25th. And so with full heart and voice, we together pray. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. God speaks a loving word to us in Jesus, the only begotten Son. The Lord hears what we ask for ourselves and the whole world. Today's response is Prince of Peace, hear our prayer. Prince, Prince of, of peace, peace, hear our, our prayer. For the church, 
that we may know how close God is to us, how blessed we are, and how God is with us each day, we pray. Prince, Prince of, of Peace, peace hear, hear us. us. For peace throughout the world, that the Prince of Peace may bring an end to violence and lead all peoples to greater cooperation in overcoming poverty and disease, we pray. Prince, Prince of, of peace, peace, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, for the homeless, and for those who are in prison, that the coming of Christ may bring hope, healing, and new opportunities for them, we pray. Prince, Prince of, of peace, peace, hear our prayer. For a new vision of life, that the peace and humility of the nativity may help us see our lives and challenges in a new way, so that we may be instruments of God's love every day, we pray. Prince, Prince of, of peace, peace, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the love of the Savior will fill our hearts as we confidently speak our prayers silently. We pray. Prince of Peace, hear our prayer. For all who have died, and for those spending the holidays without their loved ones, may the birth of our Savior give them comfort and hope, we pray. Prince of Peace, hear our prayer. We offer this Mass for all of your intentions, for all of our those viewing and those watching at home. We offer this Mass for you. And we also remember all the names that have been remembered in our Ponsetia uh, Memorial. And so we offer this Mass for them as well, for those names inscribed. Loving God, today you speak to us through your Son, Jesus. In his name, we place before you these petitions and those in our hearts. Listen to us in your mercy. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns now and forever. Amen. And so at this time, we invite you to please be seated at home and wherever you may be. And we ask you to be generous in our collection at this moment. You will notice that on the, on the screen, you will see a text to give or via Faith Direct. Thank you for your generosity during this holiday season as we continue to minister here at Our Lady of Grace to all the spiritual needs at home and everywhere else. God bless you. And we thank you for your time, talent, and treasure as we now prepare the altar for the celebration of Eucharist.
Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. To the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all. May the oblation of this day's feast be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray, that through this most holy exchange we may be found in the likeness of Christ, in whom our nature is united to you, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, and so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. The city sealed comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. For by a cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Archbishop, Alejandro, his regional bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. To the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant us so, we pray, O Lord our God, that we who are gladdened by participation in the feast of our Redeemer's Nativity may through an honorable way of life become worthy of union with him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Before our final blessing, I want to extend to you as a parish administrator on behalf of myself, Father Sam, the, fa the staff here at Our Lady of Grace, the faculty and staff of Our Lady of Grace Parish School. We want to extend to each and every single one of you a holy and blessed Christmas season. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe on, our, uh, on all of our social media. And we want to also thank you for your generosity and for your love offerings and continued prayers and support of our ministry here at Our Lady of Grace. May the coming of Christ here at Christmas continue to reside in your hearts and in the hearts of all of your loved ones and in your own homes. So God bless you and thank you for joining us during this Mass, this Vigil Mass of Christmas. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the God of infinite goodness, by the incarnation of his Son, has driven darkness from the world, and by that glorious birth has illumined this most holy night, drive far from you the darkness of vice, and illumine your hearts with the light of virtue. Amen. May God, who willed that the great joy of his Son's saving birth be announced to shepherds by the angel, fill your minds with the gladness he gives and make you heralds of his gospel. Amen. Amen. And may God, who by the incarnation brought together the earthly and heavenly realm, fill you with the gift of his peace and favor and make you sharers with the church in heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.
Jesus.